Hi everyone, welcome to EduTap and welcome to this particular video. In this video, I'll cover your lecture number 7 of ARD Star Tech series for NABA Grade 2024. So today in this lecture, we'll cover very important chapter that is plantation and horticulture crop. So I'll discuss all the PYQs and other important topics with regards to this particular chapter. But before starting, I have a request if you are new to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to download the PDF of this lecture and other informative lectures that we are running on YouTube, so you can download those PDF from our Telegram channel. So you can join us, join our Telegram channel and download it from there. ठीक है चलो so let's start with the very first question that is dash is the multiplication of plants with the aim to achieve an increase in the number of plants so you have to tell me that what is the name of that process where our aim is to achieve or where our aim is to multiply the number of plants ठीक है options are propagation sexual propagation separation all of the above none of the above and students right answer for this question will be Propagation. So, what is propagation? What is propagation? It is it is basically the increase increasing number of plants. Means what do I mean by saying we have to increase the number of plants? So, students, देखो, we have a plant. Okay, for say I have a plant and it is of very good quality, very good variety. So I have to ensure that I should multiply it so that it can be distributed to the farmer and farmer can utilize this particular variety, right? So for multiplication, whatever method I will be using or the process of multiplication of one plant into several plant is called as propagation, okay? What do we have to do? We have to make a lot of plants from one plant to another, right? So what do we say about that process? That is called propagation. Clear? Now, here you have to understand that this method, this, this uh, process of multiplying the plant into different, uh, into multiple plant can be achieved by two ways. First is through asexual propagation and next is through sexual propagation. What is the difference between sexual propagation and asexual propagation? Here, in case of sexual propagation, seed is the propagating material. So, what is propagating material? The material that will be that we use to multiply the plant. Okay, the material that will be used to grow new plant. Okay. Now, here in case of sexual propagation, we use seed of a plant. Okay. You know, hum kya karte? we sow seed in order to get new plant, right? So, in case of sexual propagation, seed is a propagating material. Through seeds, we are increasing the number of plants. Here, if we want to, if we, if we have to uh, get the seed, so there are some process that goes behind it, okay? What are those process? First is pollination and other is fertilization, okay? So pollination and fertilization are two process through which seed is formed, okay? What is pollination? Transfer of male pollen to the female reproductive organ of a flower so that they can fuse and this fusion, this fusion of male and female gamete is called as fertilization. After the fertilization, <coughs> seed are formed. Okay? So seeds is process se banta hai. Sexual propagation is what? When we are using seed as a propagating material. Now, if we use any part of a plant other than seed, okay? Other than seed, any part of plant is used as a propagating material, then that is a asexual propagation okay like what part we can use we can use stem we can use leaves we can use roots we can use buds okay so any other part of plant apart from seed when used as a propagating material then that type of reproduction or that type of sorry propagation method will be called as asexual propagation clear I hope now what is propagation and different type of propagation methods are clear, right? Chalo, next question is dash is a propagation method by seeds which are formed after successful pollination and fertilization. Now by now you must be able to do this question because I just discussed this thing with you. Okay, we discussed in case of sexual propagation, formation of seed, uh, you know, in case of sexual propagation, seeds are used as a propagating material and formation of seeds happen through the 
टू प्रोसेस विच इज पॉलिनेशन एंड फर्टिलाइजेशन ठीक है नाउ नेक्स्ट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड ए सेक्शुअल प्रोपोगेशन ऑलरेडी विद यू वी हैव अदर अदर ऑप्शन दैट इज माइक्रो प्रोपोगेशन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वट इज माइक्रो प्रोपोगेशन एंड हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम योर सेक्शुअल एंड ए सेक्शुअल प्रोपोगेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स एज अ नेम सजेस्ट माइक्रो प्रोपोगेशन सो हेयर वी आर यूजिंग अ वेरी वेरी स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ अ प्लांट ठीक है सो हेयर एनी पार्ट कैन बी यूज इट कैन बी अट इट कैन बी अ सीड इट कैन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ लीव इट कैन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ रूट एनी पार्ट ऑफ प्लांट कैन बी यूज फॉर माइक्रो प्रोपोगेशन क्लियर हेयर वॉट वी डू वी cut a plant tissue into small small part okay like if we take leaf of a plant this leaf will be cut into different small parts theek okay? hai and each part each part is kept on a growing media we have a growing media means this media will give nutrition to the growing part of a plant theek okay? hai so like for say this part of leaf is kept here and this this leaf this part this part will grow okay how it will grow it will take support it will take nutrition from the growing media and after some times it will grow into new plant it will grow into new plant theek okay? hai now you can see small very small uh, propagating material is taken here and propagating material can be anything here growing media is used and this all happens under lab condition here one condition is very important that micro propagation can be done in a control environment in a control condition usually in labs micro propagation is done theek okay? hai sexual and asexual propagation is found in nature but micro propagation is a artificial way of propagation where we need a particular particular set of condition under which we can propagate any small part of a plant clear so that is micro propagation next we have is seed propagation is the only possible way to propagate in plant like so students we have few plants where no asexual propagation can happen no asexual method of propagation can be followed so what are those plant you have given the option so these plants are both b and c that sorry d and c that is coconut and papaya so these are two example that you have to learn that in case of coconut and papaya we only have to go for sexual propagation b because these plant cannot be propagated by asexual means clear so i hope this is also clear <coughs> next question dash is a propagation method in which new plant remain at least partially attached to the mother plant while forming new shoots ठीक है यू हैव टू टेल मी इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रोपोगेशन मेथड न्यू प्लांट व्हिच इज फॉर्म्ड इज पार्शियली अटैच टू द मदर प्लांट ऑप्शंस आर लेयरिंग बर्डिंग ग्राफ्टिंग एंड कटिंग राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज लेयरिंग व्हाट इज लेयरिंग लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सो इन केस ऑफ लेयरिंग व्हाट हैपेंड देखो दिस इज अ टाइप ऑफ एसेक्सुअल प्रोपोगेशन मेथड ओके इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ एसेक्सुअल प्रोपोगेशन मेथड ठीक है चलो it is a asexual propagation method and here what we do we take we take a part of plant like if we want to use this particular branch of this plant for the propagation method or we want to use this branch for new making new plant what we do in case of layering we scrape this branch theek okay? hai after scraping what we do we add moss grass to it it theek okay? hai moss grass or if sphagnum grass is is used to cover this scraped part theek okay? hai now this moss grass or sphagnum grass is is applied here so that moisture can be maintained okay we ensure that there is a proper moisture at this part which has been scraped and this sphagnum grass will be tied up by a plastic cover ठीक है इट विल बी एनक्लो इट विल बी कवर्ड बाय अ प्लास्टिक कवरिंग एंड इट विल बी टाइड बाय टाइड एट बोथ एंड नाउ आफ्टर सम टाइम व्हाट विल हैपन दिस स्क्रेप फ्रॉम दिस स्क्रेप पार्ट द प्लांट रूट विल अराइज ओके यू विल सी स्मॉल स्मॉल रूट विल अराइज फ्रॉम दैट स्क्रेप पार्ट देन वंस द रूट हैज बीन अराइज यू कैन सी दैट द न्यू प्लांट स्टार्ट फॉर्मिंग हियर बट स्टिल पार्शियली अटैच्ड टू द मदर प्लांट दिस इज मदर प्लांट बेसिकली फ्रॉम व्हिच वी आर टेकिंग द स्टेम ठीक है दैट इज कॉल्ड मदर प्लान सो हेयर दिस टाइप ऑफ मेथड वेयर दिस थिंग हैपन दैट इट इज इट इट इज स्टिल पार्शली अटैच टू द मदर प्लांट एंड रूट स्टार्ट फॉर्मिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड लेयरिंग ओके आफ्टर 
roots have been formed, we'll cut it from here and we will use this for formation or for the new plant, for making of new plant. Clear? So, I hope layering is clear to you. Among all type of cutting, dash are most widely used. Now, what is cutting? Let us understand. Cutting is also a type of asexual propagation method. Okay? It is also a type of asexual propagation method where we are use, using a cutting means a stem cutting or a leaf cutting or a root cutting. What we do? We cut. We use a part of stem. We cut the part of stem and we use at a pro, is it as a propagating material. Similarly, we cut a part of root and use, at a, use it as a propagating material. Now, the part which we are using based on that cutting are again divided into three parts. First is leaf cutting where leaf is used as a propagating material. Then we have a stem cutting where stem is used as a propagating material and then we have a root cutting where root is used as a propagating material. Now in this question you have to tell me most widely used uh, cuttings. So it will be stem cutting. Okay? So stem cutting basically we take stem, we cut the stem and then we use it as a propagating material. This type of cutting is usually followed. Clear? Chalo. Next question is the eyes of potato are useful for. Okay? Now, there are some modified structure in few plants. You might have seen that a uh, few plants have some modified structure and these modified structure can be used as a propagating material. Right? Like in case of potato, you might have seen this is potato. So, you, you might not have seen the seed of potato. Why? Because we are growing potato from the potato tuber. Okay, we are cutting this potato tuber into small parts. Either we are using these cuttings or what we do, we grow the whole tuber in the field and this whole tuber will give rise to new plant. Okay. Now, when we are growing the whole tuber, then there is no problem. Okay, these tubers have small, small eyes which you will see over the tuber. Okay, tuber ke upar aapko small, small bud jaise ya small, small node jaise dikhega. That will be called as, that is called as eye. That is called as eye. Okay. Now, if we are using a cutting or if we are cutting this potato tuber for propagating material, so each cutting should have one eye. Because your plant will arise from this eye. Okay, your plant will arise from this eye. So, if we are using a cutting of a pot, uh, potato tuber as a propagating material, so it should be, it should have this eye. So, that's that type of uh, propagation method where we are using any modified structure or any part of plant is called as vegetative propagation. Okay, vegetative part is used for propagation. So, you can say that your asexual reproduction is also called as a vegetative propagation or asexual propagation is called as a vegetative propagation. Clear? So, you have to understand that there are some modified structure of plant which can again be used for the propagation method. Like for example, in case of ginger, you might have seen the rhizome of ginger that we consume. Now, if you will cut this ginger anyway, okay, anyway if you cut it and place it into the soil, that part of that ginger or that part of that ginger rhizome will be uh, you is capable of giving rise to new plant. Okay, so that is again a vegetative propagation. Chalo. Next is which of the following is a stem that grows horizontally under or along the surface from which root and shoot arises. Okay, answer for this question is rhizome. So students, there are few things that you have to understand. <laughs> again, I have discussed about rhizome, right? It is a vegetative propagation, uh, propagation material. So here what we have rhizome ka example is ginger. So what is rhizome <coughs> basically? This is a stem. This is a modified stem. Okay? It is a modified stem and it grow horizontally. It grow horizontally in the, in the soil. Okay? Which is under or along the surface. Either it will go under it will or it will go around, along the surface. But it will grow horizontally. Okay? Horizontally into the soil. So that is the rhizome. Clear? Rhizome. Now next we have is a sucker, bud and, and rudder. Okay? First understand the difference between rhizome and rudder. So, this is rhizome, right? But in some cases, you will see like in case of straw strawberry, there are some runner-like structure. Means, they will run above the ground and wherever they will touch the ground, there the root will start and new plant will form. The new plant will form. Okay. So, this is runner. This is runner. Run, rhizome, runner. Okay. Then, what are buds? 
बर्ड्स आर बेसिकली द स्मॉल 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 यू कैसे फोल्डिंग्स दैट आर फाउंड और इसमें आर फाउंड इन द नोट्स बेसिकली यू दीज आर द स्मॉल नोड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर विच आर फाउंड एट द एट द uh at at any point which is capable of giving rise to new uh, shoot or new plant or new flower theek hai so that will be called as bud theek hai bud kya hai small structure that can be used again for the propagation material and then we have a sucker what is sucker sucker basically is a stem that arises from the base of a plant like in case of banana the sucker arises from the base of plant theek hai and this sucker can be cut cut uh, and it can be sown to the soil and it will give rise to new banana plant clear so i hope all these types of uh, vegetative propagation methods are clear to you next is dash is a small plantlet that appear at the base of mother plant and is propagation method followed in banana very important theek hai i have already just discussed with you and answer will be sucker theek hai answer is here suckers right chalo next question which of the following is the drying of onion carried out in the field and involves pulling of bulb from the ground and laying them in ground in small heap for 1 to 2 weeks now there are few questions from post harvesting as well okay so you have to learn the post harvesting method as well theek hai so there is a post harvesting method which is followed in onion where we are keeping the onion in the field itself for drying now why drying is important so students dekho in onion this drying process is important to bring down the moisture content so if the moisture will be optimum then only we can store it into the storage theek hai tabhi ye store kar sakte hain for the long duration of time so that process in onion is called as wind drawing theek hai that process is known as wind drawing next question is dash is a method of heating fruit with air saturated uh, with water vapor at temperature of 40 to 50 degree celsius now here we have we have different treatment method theek hai dekho once the product is harvested okay it is taken from the field it need to be cleaned okay we need to clean it we need to ensure that there is no presence of any insect or any fungus or any kind of dirt or debris over that produce theek hai because if we will store such kind of product what will happen with the time it will start spoiling okay insect larva can hatch and insect will start spoiling the produce along with that the other produce kept uh, beside it also get rotten up right so we need to ensure that we uh, do some kind of treatment so that the produce can be free from all this type of things so here you have been asked the method where you are using saturated air basically you are using steam for uh, for uh, removing removing or killing the harmful bacteria or harmful uh, uh, harmful microorganism that is present over the produce right so answer here is vapor heat treatment dekho we know steam is more powerful than the heat right so here what we do we go for vapor heat treatment where this through this steam we kill all kind of uh, microorganism that is present over the over the uh, product theek okay? hai so next we have hot water treatment hot in case of hot water treatment again we increase the temperature of water and in the boiling water or in the uh, in the hot water we uh, we uh, wash the produce okay and quickly we take out the produce so with the hot water with the that heat all microorganism that is present over the surface of produce will get killed theek okay? hai then we have a parboiling what is parboiling again parboiling is method that is used in rice theek okay? hai it is a form of storage method used for rice where we are uh, partially cooking the rice theek okay? hai just understand it is the processing method of rice where rice is stored in the can it and it is par boiled <coughs> rice where it is half cooked okay so that instantly when consumer want to cook the uh, want to consume the rice it can just add hot water to it and the within 4 to 5 minute the rice will be cooked right so that is the cure uh, that is the par boiling theek okay? hai next question is which of the following can be used in reducing astringency now in some produce in some of the produce there is some astringency okay they have some kind of flavor or they have some kind of astringent uh, compound present in them that can uh, you know stimulate our mouth or that can not be liked by the customer so what we need to do we need to reduce this astringency and for reduction of these astringency in uh, in the produce the treatment that is done is the treatment with high 
level of CO2. So what we do, we expose the produce with high level of CO2 and with that the astringency in the produce get reduced. Okay? So that's the <coughs> answer. Next is the concentration of chlorine in water for washing. I have told you when we harvest the produce, we need to wash it, clean it. Okay. So for washing purpose, chlorinated water is used. So the, per, uh, the uh, percentage or concentration of chlorine in that water should be 100 to 150 ppm. Clear? Chalo. Next question is the process of removal of green pigment. Again, very important post-harvest method where we are removing the green pigment. So sometimes students during harvesting, it can happen like we have harvested some unripe product, right? Unripe product and these products are green in color. Still, they have not developed full-fledged um, orange color like in case of orange, right? They have not de developed full-fledged orange color. So what will happen if we will take this produce to the market, obviously the consumer will neglect or the consumer will not pick the green color produce. It will always go for the full fledged orange color orange, right? So we need to remove the greening in orange or the citrus. So for that, what we'll do, we will go for a method that is known as degreening. Okay? That is known as degreening. Okay? So in order to increase the acceptability of produce into the market, we need to remove or we need to decrease the greening of the produce for that we have to go for degreening clear so that's the process which is being uh, asked here chalo now let's solve the pyqs so eye of potato are useful for very important okay it has been all already discussed so i have discussed with you about the vegetative propagation so answer will be here vegetative propagation these eye of potato that these small birds which are called eye and present over the surface of potato. These are important for the vegetative propagation because these eye from these eye, the new plant will, new potato plant will come. Take care. Which vegetable has the sensitive stage from bulb formation till maturity? Now, students, they go. There, in this particular chapter, there will be some vague question or something. So, question will be in a twisted manner. So, you have to, uh, you know, Patiently think about the question and then try to answer the question. Okay. We do not know about the stages of different crops, right? We haven't individually read about each crop and neither we have studied about the sensitive stage of any crop. But here, if you will see the question carefully, it is asking, vegetable have the sensitive stage from bulb formation till maturity. Bulb formation se maturity the sensitive stage kis mein hoti hai. And if you will read the question, uh, uh, options, so we have sweet potato, groundnut, uh, potato, onion, none of the above. So answer here will be onion. Why? Because bulb is made in which of the following crop bulb is being formed. Okay, we say na, onion bulb, garlic bulb, right? So bulb is formed in onion. So that's how you have to handle such question. Okay, you have to think like, okay, where is this bulb formation happening among all the options? And accordingly, you have to mark your Correct answer. Okay. Next is coconut can be propagated through which of the following technique. Now I have told you this that there are few crops which cannot be propagated through vegetative means. Okay. So example of that was coconut and papaya. So for coconut and papaya understand this thing that they can be only propagated through seeds. So answer here will be seeds. Clear? <coughs> Next question is enarch grafting method is practiced in which of the following? Now students, grafting is again a method of a method of vegetative propagation or we can say asexual propagation. What we do in grafting, we have two part that is cyan and then we have a root stalk. Okay? In case of grafting, cyan is basically the desired desired plant means the plant. Uh, you know, uh, that, that plant from which we need produce. Like for say, if we want to graft a mango tree, okay? So I want a dasheri, a dasheri graft. So what I'll do, I'll take cyan from the dasheri plant because I want dasheri mango, right? So cyan will be taken from mother plant. It will be taken from mother plant, clear? Then we have a root stock. Now for say this dasheri plant in itself is not capable of a uh, uh, good root stock okay or the root system is very weak and uh, it is susceptible to some disease or insect but i do not want the root stock of the sherry i want root stock of some other mango plant which have a good uh, good root system 
ठीक है एंड इट इज नॉट ससेप्टेबल टू एनी डिजीज और इंसेक्ट सो फॉर दैट आई चूज फॉर से वेराइटी बी ऑफ मैंगो ठीक है वेराइटी बी ऑफ मैंगो सो हेयर वट आई डू आई आई यूज द रूट स्टॉक ऑफ वेराइटी बी एंड ओवर द रूट स्टॉक आई जॉइन द साइन ऑफ द शेरी एंड देन वंस दिस ग्राफ्ट हैज बीन फॉर्म वन देर इज अंस देर इज अ फ्यूजन ऑफ द रूट स्टॉक एंड साइन टूगेदर देन दैट ग्राफ्ट विल बी यूज ओके आई यूज दैट ग्राफ्ट फॉर द प्रोपोगेशन ठीक है और द फॉर फॉर ग्रोइंग दैट दशहरी प्लांट ठीक है तो अब क्या होगा द रूट स्टॉक विल ग्रो डाउनवर्ड इट विल फॉर्म द रूट सिस्टम एंड द दशहरी प्लांट विल ग्रो अपवर्ड विच विल फॉर्म द कैनोपी और द ब्रांचेस फ्रॉम इन विच आई विल गेट द दशहरी मैंगो राइट सो दैट इज द ग्राफ्टिंग नो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ग्राफ्टिंग दैट कैन बी फॉलोड इन डिफरेंट वेज वी कैन गो फॉर दिस ग्राफ्टिंग वी कैन गो फॉर द ज्वाइनिंग ऑफ साइन एंड रूट स्टॉक सो हेयर यू हैव बीन आस्ट अ ग्राफ्टिंग मेथड विच इज called in arching grafting theek okay? hai and in which we are following this so it is followed in mango just remember an arching grafting is a type of grafting which is followed in mango clear chal next question is which of the fo <coughs> following is a stem that grows horizontally under and along the surface from which root and shoots are grown again very easy right we have discussed it it is rhizome next question which of the following pair of fruits are semi perishable so stu students dekho again a very vague question how many fruits you will learn uh, or how many horticulture floriculture or the fruit crop you will learn for the perishability theek okay? hai so list is very long they can ask you from anywhere but don't worry i have come up with the short list which you can refer to or wo example aap yaad kar lo at least if that is asked you can answer it okay so for this question answer is <coughs> coconut and orange now what are basically these crops so very perishable are basically which do not have much shelf life they have the shelf life only of only 0 to 4 week means we can store them only for 0 to 4 weeks based on that we have uh, very perishable perishable semi perishable and non perishable theek okay? hai this is the list these are the example of very perishable fruit crops then we have perishable fruit crop uh, which is which can sustain which can live for 4 to 8 weeks and then we have semi perishable which can live for 6 to 12 weeks and then we have non perishable they can survive or they have the shelf life of more than 12 weeks theek hai these are few examples you can learn if question come from here you can answer it theek hai now next question is what is the name of the process where plants are isolated and acclimatized to the climate where it is grown ठीक है ना स्टूडेंट्स सी इन केस ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोपगेशन वेर वी आर ग्रोइंग अ सीडलिंग और अ स्मॉल प्लांटलेट इन अ लैब कंडीशन नाउ वी कैन नॉट डायरेक्टली एक्सपोज दिस प्लांटलेट टू द आउटसाइड कंडीशन ऑब्वियसली सीडलिंग्स आर ग्रोन इन द लैब यू कैन नॉट ग्रो फुल फ्लेश ट्री इन द लैब राइट सो यू नीड टू टेक दिस सीडलिंग टू द टू द एनवायरमेंट कंडीशन टू द आउटर कंडीशन ठीक है यू नीड टू एक्सपोज इट टू द आउटर कंडीशन बट इफ यू डायरेक्टली प्लेस दिस सीडलिंग टू द एनवायरमेंट कंडीशन वॉट विल हैपन by now the seedling has got everything very well and it was able to grow and directly if we will uh, uh, you know directly if we will transfer it to the field condition it will have to bear all kind of biotic and abiotic stress it will have to suffer from all the environmental stress until now it was not in the environmental condition right so what we do for that we go for a process that is known as hardening theek okay, hai what is this hardening process here from the lab ठीक है फॉर से दिस इज अ लैब एंड इन दिस लैब आई हैव आई हैव ग्रोन अप सीडलिंग ठीक है व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल प्लेस दिस सीडलिंग इनटू द नर्सरी कंडीशन फॉर फ्यू डेज ठीक है फॉर 10 डेज आई विल प्लेस दिस सीडलिंग इनटू द नर्सरी कंडीशन नाउ हियर वी हैव अ शेड राइट इन द नर्सरी वी हैव शेड वी हैव अ प्रोटेक्टेड एनवायरमेंट सो इट विल एक्लिमेटाइज फर्स्ट टू द नर्सरी नर्सरी कंडीशन नाउ आफ्टर फ्यू डेज आफ्टर 10 डेज व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल कीप दिस uh this pot having the seedling outside for few hours like for first day i kept it for 1 hour in the next day i kept it for 2 hour in the third day i kept it for 3 hour so what i am doing here i am doing the hardening of that plant okay and this through this hardening process it will slowly get acclimatized to the outer environment condition clear so that the process known as hardening i hope this is clear चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डैम्पिंग ऑफ पपाया कॉस नाउ देर विल बी फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द डिजीज पार्ट एज वेल बट अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू लर्न द डिजीजेस फॉर ईच 
horticulture crop because we have this uh, fruit crop which so many fruit crops similarly vegetable crops and so and so okay fruit uh, flower crops so there are so many horticulture crops and if you will start reading the uh, disease part of each crop it will take a long time theek hai it's not smart thing to do ek question agar aa gaya to koi baat nahi chhod do us question ko sare question ho jaye ye bhi har time possible nahi hai theek hai exam mein sab question ho jaye aisa to possible hai nahi kuch question bahut zyada vague honge bahut zyada out of syllabus honge ya to bahut core agriculture se hoga now this is the question from core agriculture people from uh, agriculture background can do this but yes those uh, who are not from agriculture background jo sirf agriculture pad rahe hain for the minimum cut off or for the average score you have to leave such question theek hai if you do not know the answer so here answer will be plant eventually dies so damping of basically a disease in papaya where plant ultimately dies theek hai this disease uh, attack the papaya crop and it cause the death of plant theek hai chalo next question is which of the following process <coughs> following is the process of assessing sorting different classes of standards of fruit based on size color and quality theek hai now again once the harvesting is done so you will see all produce that you have harvested will not be of same color same size same uh, quality right you need to sort them now what you will do you will uh, grade them you will uh, separate good quality produce from the bad quality produce theek okay? hai so based on size color and quality what we do we sort we do the sorting of the produce and this process is known as grading this was asked in 2023 isko kya bolte hain ise grading bolte hain theek hai okay? through the grading what we do we put the different quality product as a grade a grade b grade c theek hai grade a will be high quality fruits a grade c will be of low quality fruit so this is called as grading where we are sorting the product based on their size color and quality clear so that's the last question i hope you have enjoyed and you have got the concept that i try to uh, explain to you in this uh, particular video and if you have any further doubt you can always ask me in the comment section so that's all students thank you so much